And what is up everybody, Jeremy here excited to bring you another Starfield shipbuilding video. Today we have the baby chick coming at ya. This is a mad cargo ship. This is this this is a huge, huge cargo ship to help you handle your cargo needs. And before we get into the details, don't forget that you can find all the ship parts that we use in this build found in the description below. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as everything does help out. This is also a glitch ship build, so you want to check out all the glitches that we use in all our ship builds all together. And check out the ship, uh, ship glitch building guide up above or in the description below and see all the details there. Now let's get into this ship build. We do have some parts that are not part of this landing bay that I'm currently setting this up in. So uh, just, just be careful about how we plan this out just, just for this build. But yeah, let's break it apart. Let's break it apart in like starboard port and um, middle sections here. So I'm gonna pull this. You can see all our glitch, just glitch pieces that are that are happening here. It's supposed to be there, right? put it back in can i put can i put no no <laughs> it's like don't want me to look yeah look at all these lots of glitches in this one guys but simple glitches simple glitches all right so that's that let's get the other stuff uh, the starboard side let's see grab as much as we can this time cool and then i'll just grab one of these each delete the rest of these I think I duplicated these guys 15 times all right and just to show you how many cargo holds we have here. I'm just gonna pull out one by one just so you can see them. of these guys Ooh. more <laughs> wait, wait a second wait a second all right let me see that one two three four five six seven really one, two, three, four, five, six, 21? What? 21 plus five, 26? I had 26 of those guys in here? That's insane. All right, delete these guys. Double click this, bring it towards the front, and we are going to start with our first part, which is the Shipbed 200 Landing Bay, brought to you by Teo. This is gonna be in its aft orientation. In front of that, we're gonna bring over the Stroud Companionway one by one. And on top of this, we're going to bring over the Contiki B500 bridge. We're getting this from um, Stroud Eklund and attached to that are already going to be two Obliterator 250 MEV Alpha turrets. That's I think we also got that from Stroud Eklund as well. So in front of this, we have our first glitch. It's going to be the Hope 11 Docker and 4 orientation. To set up this glitch, we're going to duplicate the Stroud Companionway one by one down by one and bring the Hope 11 Docker in its four orientation to the front. And we're just gonna use the duplication glitch to duplicate it right back up. So just select it, hit Control G, duplicate it up and hit Enter to accept it. And there it is, that's your glitch piece. Cause like, yeah, right, I cannot fit it underneath that Contiki bridge right now. So let's also demonstrate this with a controller. We're gonna bring a controller out. We're gonna select this piece by tapping RB on the controller, then tap Y to duplicate it, then tap A to, ex to accept it, and then you can hit X to delete these two pieces to set, help set it up. Tap LB to make sure everything is connected and it looks like it is, and you can tap B to unselect as well. Continuing on with the mouse. Right behind this, we're gonna bring over our 
Galleon S204 cargo hold. And behind that, we have a Deimos Tail A with two PBO 300 Auto Alpha turrets are attached to that. And in front of that, we're going to bring over the Deimos Spine A in its four orientation. And on top of that, we have another Obliterator 250 MEV Alpha turret. I just, since these cargo ships have very low mobility overall at, at the end, um, yeah, turrets usually are the way to go, but I still have our trusty Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projectors to help me shoot in front of me. And um, since those are the best ship weapons in the game, you can check out the details in that link up above, in that card up, showing up above, and you can find it in the description below as well. But yeah, um, where do we go to next? Let's start duplicating. Right, do we want to start duplicating now? No, let's do, let's do let's add the duplication stuff at the end. Yeah, let's do that at the end. Um, let's see here. Lots of planning we need to do for this. All right, so we're gonna move these guys out. We're gonna start breaking these guys down. So yes, let's figure out how we did this. <laughs> let's do it together. Um, I decided to put, just because it might be hard to, uh, to um, duplicate some of these down, since, since I only have six of these, right? Like if I was building this at the Stroud Eklund Star Yard, I can duplicate as many as I want and then delete down to six. Right, but since I only have six here, I need to make sure that I have six evenly placed to all these. And I think what I'm gonna do to do that is that it's like this piece. This is a piece I could duplicate, right, in the star yard. I can't duplicate any more of these. That that's a this is a fixed number of parts that I have here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is probably duplicate five of these on one side and just move over one to the. Right, just just for the, just for the sake that I'm building this at the um, landing pad with shipbuilder versus doing this at the, um, the star yard. Yeah, because like to do this build, I need to build in two different locations to to get to use all these glitches. Because right, um, like this piece right here, these pieces are not available at the start at the at Stroud Eklund. So this is like I I felt that this was the best piece to keep as a limiting factor in building versus the other pieces since like I need to use a duplication glitch here for this piece. I need to use the duplication glitch for these pieces. So there's yeah there's a plenty there's a good set of pieces that I need to use um, the duplication glitch for. So let's start on the port side. That's where that's our target first. We're gonna bring this in. Um, yeah, we'll start there. This is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna bring in this. We have the 500 THE3 tank. All right, that's all we need if you have all your perks up for um, for what's it called, Astrodynamics, and you have Sarah Morgan. That's all you need to help you traverse the whole galaxy. On top of that, we're gonna use a Nova Bracer. So that's the Nova Bracer is there as a piece to help glitch other pieces together. As you can see, like we also have the Sheared flow reactor here, and I can duplicate this piece. But like the part, the problem with this guy is that it has no top, um, top slots or it's top, top snapping point. Same thing here. It doesn't have a top snapping point. So that top snapping point is I is what I need to help me build this thing. And I'm using the um, Nova Bracer to kind of merge into this piece to give me a snap point on top. So let's do that next. Let's go away. Oh wait. Wait a second. Let me, remember, let me let me remember my order. I know I had to do this here. Okay. Is that how I did it? Okay. I think I know how I remember how I did this. I set up a set. I, I created a, a piece to help me set this up. So I'm gonna bring this here. All right. I'm gonna bring this already here. And then what I'm gonna do is set this up and start duplicating this down using duplication buddy glitch. All right. So the rule for the duplicate oh, I, I, I didn't go over the rule for the duplication glitch in general. All right, you go over that real quick. Rule for the duplication glitch in general. All right, you need to be able to duplicate the module 
in the star yard yet in other words you need to be able to be able to purchase it or you have another piece of it laying around and I'll, I'll explain that when I do the engines but that's one rule you need to be able to duplicate it so right now I can't duplicate this pieces so if I hit, hit control right here I only have the option to undo and redo but if I hit the control hit control my keyboard here I have the option to undo redo and duplicate so the duplication glitch you need to be able to duplicate it. Two, you need to have an open and available snap point to snap it to, that it can go to and move to. And once that's there, you're set. That's it. So those are the general rules for the duplication glitch. Now for the duplication buddy glitch, I'm going to duplicate this right here. I'm going to use a buddy to help me duplicate and merge these pieces together. And the only rule here is that, one, you need to be able to duplicate it in the start you're at. And two, you need to have a buddy that has a top and bottom snapping point. All right, and it could be any module. So I just chose the 500T because it was easily accessible. And I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do too is duplicate this up first. Well, you see that? It duplicated, wait, it duplicated down anyway. Oh shoot! Looks like I was able to use just the regular duplication glitch anyway. Let me see. We'll do it one more time. No, it won't do it one more time. Wait, let me see. Oh, did it! Hey. Okay, I guess I was able to just use the regular duplication glitch. And then I need to do this one more time too. Let's see. Regular duplication glitch? Oh, it worked. Oh, I wonder why. That's strange. Because usually, like the duplication glitch wouldn't work if you had if there if there was a closed spot. It only works if there's an available spot together. But maybe there's something because I I noticed that this happened last time too. Maybe this works better with a piece that has like for example I'm gonna like as an example this piece doesn't have slots snapping points on the top or bottom so i don't know if that plays a factor i don't know if that plays a factor but anyway i'm just undoing that so i have all the pieces there and then the tail engine this is something i also need to glitch into so i'm going to bring these pieces up right there i'm going to duplicate use the duplication glitch standard duplication glitch to duplicate down once and twice into place and there and that should set our side i believe Almost. I should have kept that here. Hold on a second. I'm gonna do one. All right. I'm gonna keep that there because now I need to set up. I think I delete these pieces now. Well, one. I'm gonna move the. I'm gonna duplicate this. Duplicate glitch this one down too. I'm gonna merge this down. Uh, this one. I can't just do it. I can't. I just can't do the duplication glitch. Yeah. This one I will have to use the duplication buddy glitch. So I'm gonna get another duplication buddy. I'm gonna use the demo's whole A this time. I'm gonna duplicate one up, and then I'm gonna select the Nova, uh, not the Nova Bracer, the Assurance SG1800. I'm gonna merge it down into this mesh of stuff right here. It's gonna um, snap to the 500T HE3 tank, which already has its top snapping point occupied. So I'm gonna select the Assurance SG1800 shield generator and select the bottom Deimos hole A, then that should hopefully duplicate it down. And it did. And double click, make sure everything's set here. Everything is. All right, I'm gonna undo real quick. Show you how to do that with controller, just briefly. So I'm gonna select the shield generator by tapping RG, R, RB, then tap the bottom helper here by tapping RB here. Both of those are selected. Tap Y to duplicate it down, then tap A to accept it. And that should be it. Gonna delete this piece now. Oh, wires getting tangled, and I'll duplicate the buddies for now. All right, there we go. Now I am going to duplicate five of these guys down. Yeah, so I'll do next. So I'm gonna keep one. Oh, I could I could just get rid of all of these right now. All right, so I'm gonna be duplicating this a bunch of times. Um, which means I need my buddy again. <laughs> Let me get my buddy. Demos Hole A. Duplicate two of these so that way I can f hopefully force it down. Select the engine. Select the bottom. Duplicate it once. Alright, I can delete this guy on top. So I'm working with six total. Duplicate it down. Oh, didn't duplicate down. Uh oh. Uh oh. This happens, I usually have to start from the top. All right, let's start from the top. 
Maybe we'll just keep it that there for now. Just to help. There it goes. Let me see. Can I delete this? Will this, will this be helpful? Will this work? Oh, I didn't like it. All right. I'm going to keep it up there then. So I'm guessing this might be the helper piece. So I'm going to put one. I want it. I need, I need, I do need to duplicate one more. Shoot. Oh, I think I did it. I think I did it. Yeah, perfect. Be finicky sometimes. Then. All right, perfect. So we have five here. That is perfect. Now what we're gonna do is bring over equipment plate, bring it over up top, and then bring over the PB300 auto alpha turret. Cool. Now this has a duplication glitch here too. So I'm going to bring over the horizon weapon mount, bring it to the side, and it's going to have three Vanguard Obliterator auto projectors attached to it. So we're going to use the duplication buddy glitch as here as well. Alright, so I'm going to put one up here, delete this one for now. Um, so yeah, once again, with any duplication glitch, it likes to snap to an open point that's closest to it. So what I'm gonna do, it's like, so that's why I wanted to make sure that two of these are already here because like might want to snap to the bottom. So I'm putting two here and want to move this up one in its same orientation. So I want to keep that angle right here. So I'm gonna duplicate it up once, perfect it did, and then select this and select the bottom one, duplicate it down, back down, and then there's two there. There's two in this spot. You can kind of see that there's meshing right there. Perfect. And that finishes off the port side for now. Yeah, for now. Okay, let's do the same thing on the other side. And what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna move this piece over here. All right. So we're using a Nova Bracer to help us align things and create a snap point on top because this doesn't have a, a snapping point on the bottom or top and we need to pay it we need to put a place an equipment plate on top of this piece all right and then i'm going to duplicate one of these engines or not duplicate the engine all right this is the last engine piece we have that we need to set in and to do this one we just need to make sure we get this piece in place first so as you can see, we can't do it directly. We need to duplicate it down. So we're gonna duplicate it down once, twice. All right, delete these pieces for now. And then we should be able to duplicate or just stick it in. All right, so we just stuck that in. That's perfect. Then what we need to do is duplicate this piece down a few times as well. So we, wait, I wanna see if I can just duplicate it. Oh, got it. Oh, no, hold on. That's right, because there are there are open available spots there. That's right. So we just all we did was use the duplication glitch because this this guy, the engine doesn't snap to the sides. It doesn't have a snap point to the sides. So that's perfect. So last piece I need to move in here would be the Nova Bracer. Let's go ahead and move Nova Bracer here, and I, I'll probably need to use the duplication buddy glitch for this one. Oh, it moved in anyway. Sweet! So yeah, that's there. That's it. Cool. So, I need to look into that, because like, the the rules as applies to duplication glitch doesn't apply to some modules, and I think because it has, some modules have open spots to them, if it has open spots to them, it'll still work anyway. So that's, that's an interesting thing. Or I just say it's spots, or, or sides, don't, that, that don't have any snapping points to it. All right, final pieces. We're gonna move over the equipment plate with a PBO 300 Alpha auto turret on top of that. And then let's see here, does this have everything? I don't think it has everything. Does it have everything? It did, all right, I'll just keep it. <laughs> keep it as is, I'll leave it alone. So you saw how to glitch in the weapon and merge two in one spot. There's two already there, so that's perfect. All right next last pieces is what we have to do is we need to merge in a bunch of these guys to support 
all the um, all the cargo hold piece that we're doing. All right, so what should I go with first? I think we do this 15 times. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna duplicate companion way underneath. do it can I do another one right here I can't so oops so what I'm gonna do is move this off no I need this I need this I need that I need that there all right didn't duplicate twice so I'm gonna set up these guys to duplicate up a bunch of times and I think I saw what 15 I need to do it 15 times or something like that Alright, so first first things first, we're just going to use a standard duplication glitch to move it up. It's going to move it up once. Alright, then we can duplicate these guys once again. Since they're moving up into open slots. Oh, or maybe not. Let's take. Oh, they are taken. Shoot. Alright, so I can delete these three now. Alright, deleted those. Now, let's create a... Let's use our Deimos hole. We have our buddy here. Let's see if there's a fast way to do this. So I just want to swipe. Alright, here we go. Let me see if I can select all four of those, duplicate up. Oh! Uh-oh. It's not duplicating the way I want it to. Because it's not... It's not in this right spot. No. Uh oh. Mm. All right, let's do it again. I should have checked first. All right, so these are not. Those, which ones are not connected? Oh, there's a lot that are not connected. You know what? I could move this for now. Let me just move that for now. Because, like, as long as these guys are in the right place, it's fine. Alright, let's start again. Let's work these pieces in again. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I'll use a flip glitch. I'll use a flip glitch to get these pieces in, in place first. That way I can guarantee that it's in the right spot. Yeah, so I'll move one of these up. Alright, that's perfect. Alright. All right, flip glitch. Rules. One, you need the module already needs to be in the work area. Two, it needs to flip or glitch into an already available snapping point. And three, you need to be able to flip it. There you go. So I'm bringing it in. Flip once, flip twice by tapping Z. Then escape the movement by tapping escape or tab. And it's in there. All right, same thing on the other side. This time I'm going to use controller. The controller, select, it, select the piece by tapping A. Bring it in. Then tap Y to flip once, flip twice, and tap B to cancel, and then tap LB to select it, make sure it's in there, and it's not in there. Where is it? It's not in there. Uh-oh. Or is it connected to something else? Uh-oh. Okay, hold on a second. This guy is not in there. Let me move these guys out first. Alright, same thing, controller, tap A, select it, bring it in, flip once or twice by tapping Y, hit B to unselect it, or cancel the movement, then tap LB to make sure everything's connected, and everything sure is connected. Alright, solving problems everybody, solving problems. Let's do the same thing on our side. Cool, I think we're set. Now, we use it, let's get our buddy again. Take this once. All right. Select these guys. Duplicate up. Perfect. Once. Twice. Three times. Oh, missed it. Three times. times 
five times, six times, seven times. Eight times, nine times, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I think that's what, what it is. All right. That should do it. All right, let's delete all our helpers. All right, double click, make sure everything's good. Everything looks good. Let's move our other helper and bring in the landing bay. Nice. Cool, that looks good. Now, we need to get all our cargo in. So I'm gonna duplicate one up first, get our buddy this to the side for now. Get another buddy. Damus hole A. Now we should get we should be approaching um what is it called? Max module territory. One two Okay, we already, we already hit it. I think we hit it. Okay, let me see. One more. Let's see what happens. Ah, perfect. That's where we need to be. Whew. We can duplicate these back in. So our, our rear facing turrets. So look, we actually have, we actually put it, we're able to put in more cargo than we originally. So yeah, a little fin dangling and we were able to get in what we wanted to be. So nice. Woo. That's cool. All right. That is your baby chick. We add more cargo to it. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead and, and accept it. Bad boy. All right. Let's take it for a spin. Oh, let's make it our home ship first. Home ship. Whew. Man, cargo ships are 
<laughs> they are, they take, or I just say class C ships in general. They are a lengthy process for sure. All right, let's go in. Let's see. Wait, wait, what's going on here? Oh, did I duplicate? Did I accidentally duplicate one down? Okay, hold on. <laughs> it's like, oops, skis. Oops, skis. All right, I need to fix that. One more time. So I duplicated one of those. I did duplicate a bunch of them. Okay, two. Which means, uh oh. Let's put two more in there then. then. I'm not counting. I'm just going to the, the max. Um, Alright. One more time. One more time. Let's bring it back. Let's bring this back. Yes, perfect. All right, there we go, guys. Are you guys ready for low mobility battles? <laughs> Let's go for some low mobility battles with the baby chick. There we go. Hey, small, compact, huge cargo ship. little tour <laughs> we just walk into the back. here's the tour guys we're gonna walk into the baby chick all right we're walking into the baby chick and then and then we go into the companion way that's it and then into our cockpit and this is your huge cool huge ship. huge like cargo day. ship have my attention all right. Oh, by the way, this ship is brought to you by the Flaming Hornets. Is that what I call them? <laughs> the Flaming Hornets. This is part of the Flaming Hornets series. Um, totally forgot about that. Brought to you by Tommy the Tinkerer. All right, there you go. Let's take off. Let's bring our battle music in. Let's do this. Let's go. Battle fun time. Let's make it happen. Looks good. All systems are Louder on that, guys. Louder on that. Where is it? Okay, let's make sure our engines and weapons are fully or powered the way we want them to be. Perfect. Let's go to where there's a bunch of ships. Let's go to Crix. Let's go there. Auto turret battles coming at ya. Let's go. Let's have some fun. Let's have some battle fun. In three. Too. And don't forget, if you like our videos, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. Subscribe to our channel as everything does help out. I do have fully optimized weapons for or perks for turrets and for the Vanguard Obliterator our projectors. So this is an exercise of rocking the boosts. So you don't so they're not able to target you very well. And of course you are taking some hits. There you go. That is your Class G ship battle. <laughs> Turret battles. And you... Look at this guy. Look at this guy. If you think about it, look look at where all the placements are. You are... It is pointed in all directions. <laughs> so it's pretty cool, like, loading up a very small ship with turrets. So that's, that's a cool part about it, too. So, yes. Turret battles can be fun. Especially in situations where you're not dealing with... <laughs> I guess... Like... High-level ships. 
But yeah, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. Let me see. Should I, should I, should I take it to this? Let's take it to Sherpentis. One last thing. Let's go over one last set of bad guys. Yes, turrets can also be fun. Alright. Lock the boost. There you go, guys. What is that? <laughs> What's wrong with this? Let me double check. Let me double check. Yep, playing very hard. There you go, guys. So FYI, on top of that as well, just to let you know, skills are fully optimized here on everything. So just FYI, automatic weapon turrets are fully loaded. So <laughs> just, just to let you know. All right. Have yourselves an amazing day, everybody. If you like what you saw here, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. And yes, you can find all the parts that we use in this build found in the description below in this Google Sheet. So yes, lots of lots of links will be found in the description below. Beyond that, guys, have yourselves an amazing day. And we'll see you all next time. Peace out. And sending, a heart, sending down the hearts as well. Thank you so much for all the love and support. As always, without you, you just wouldn't be doing what we're doing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. See you again real soon. Peace.